Hi. I'm excited about your background as a creator, writer, and producer of Blue's Clues, one of my favorite childhood shows myself. Um, did working on that show influence Go Dog Go in any way with its focus on sweet, adorable dogs and the age range of a younger audience? Well, I haven't thought of it directly. I mean, I and I didn't create Blue's Clues, but I did work on it as a writer and as a head writer. And, and I suppose in the sense that it was my first big job that I, I think it's probably impacted everything else. Um, I haven't really thought about the dog connection as much, but I think what it, what that show, the experience on that show did more than anything else for me is it um, got me to understand and appreciate this audience. Uh, with Blue's Clues, they they rigorously tested every episode that you'd bring a script out to preschools. And so you'd really see kids interact with the stories and you really get a sense of, do they understand it? Are they learning? So that that's seeing that happen over and over again is something I've brought with me throughout my career. When we're writing something, we're writing a joke. I'm always saying, okay, is this is this going to land for a four year old, you know, or do we have to tweak it a little bit to make it a little more comprehensible or potentially funnier? So yeah, Blue Schools was was definitely very influential on on everything I've worked on. So I'm older than your ideal um, preschool audience, but I really enjoyed watching it because I personally love Yorkies. Um, are any of the dogs um, based on real breeds or your own dogs? I didn't, we didn't base any of the dogs on the show on, on my dog. I have a dog that's a, a, a black lab greyhound mix and I don't think she worked in specifically. So there are dogs that are kind of based on some of the dogs in the book. And then there are dogs that are inspired by other other breeds. Um, we never really call out the breeds, so I you know I don't want to necessarily peg any of them. But you know I think Beans the green dog is kind of like a sheep dog. Um, I think Frank is a little bit more of a, a sort of a Schnauzer type. Um, so I don't, Scooch has that kind of terrier look, but we never really call it out um, in the show. But we did want there to be a variety, a diversity of breeds, um, so that hopefully maybe kids could see something that reminded them of their own dog and also so it could feel like a community that that's diverse in some ways. All right, thank you. Yeah. I found this show to be really pleasant to have on in the background of my home. Some kids shows can almost be irritating and this one was so calming. You mentioned that the tone of the story um, had that unique quality and the spirit of the dogs. What went on behind the scenes to show that style? For instance, we noticed the muted colors and the animation that almost seemed to have like a calming effect. Oh, that's so interesting. I don't know that we like set out to create a calming effect necessarily, but we did want the town to have a very inviting feeling. You know, we didn't, um, I think we probably stayed away from going, you know, way too bright and saturated because it, it inherently was going to be a colorful world. You have all these dogs and these vehicles and, and stuff. So it's it, it felt like if we can, create a pretty grounded, but also vibrant visual style. It would feel like a fun place to be and a place you'd kind of want to live in. And then it's just, you know, I'm just so lucky to work with uh, teams of writers and, and I mean, uh, of artists and animators that they picked up something from the book, you know, they, they stayed true to that, but they really made it its own thing and created a style that, again, I, I just feel like is really inventive and, and um, and pleasant and, and fun. And uh, yeah, so the, the teams at Wild Brain and DreamWorks just did amazing work with that. Um, will there be a toy line maybe focused on the city of Boston, like a set of binoculars, a scooter and collector characters of Scooch and Tag? Well, I, first of all, that is a fantastic idea. I, you know, I think uh, I, I could see all those things. Um, I, I have no uh, knowledge of, of anything like that in the works yet. Um, but hey, you never know. Um, and I think that those would be, those would be fantastic uh, additions to, you know, any kid's toy shelf or toy box or whatever. So yeah, we'll make sure to get them if they do. Thank Wonderful. you. Thank you.